excited today. Um, Amy Howard from a maker studio had launched a couple of weeks ago a acrylic glacier resin and oh my goodness is it fun to work with so we're gonna hop right on so we could show you everything that we need to show you how to create some fabulous products so the first thing i'm gonna do is there is two containers an a and a b so the a is the the resin and the b is the hardener when you mix these you have to do equal parts so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna take two of these little silicone cups these are available on the website along with this mat to um, cover your surface with. Also, I highly recommend wearing a mask and gloves while working with the resin. So let me go ahead and put my gloves on. And then we will mix equal parts of the A and B. Let's see, so this is the resin. And for this particular pro uh, project, we are gonna use the whole container or the whole amount in this cup and the equal parts of the hardener. So I'm gonna pour that in. And there's a measuring guide on here. That's what I'm looking for so that they both are the same amount because it's 50-50, equal parts. You have to use both of them together. So I am so excited about um, this new resin because I've been creating so many fun projects with it. Whoops, I'm gonna just take a little rag and get the top of that clean. And then this is B, it's the Acrylic Glacier Hardener. And again, I'm gonna put equal parts, the same amount, and this amount, this whole silicone cup is what you're gonna need to create this project. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a plastic um, measuring cup, pour both of these in, and we're going to mix. One of the keys when you're working with this resin is to keep stirring for three minutes. I set a timer and um, this way I know it's exactly three minutes. So I'm going to pour both of them into this container so that I can start the mixing. Again, three minutes. So as you guys hop on, let's know where you're let us know where you're watching from. And if you're excited about this resin, Amy has come on and done a lot of different um, projects. And if you go to the website, you'll see all different molds and embellishments that you can make. They have some fun stuff on the website. Also, if you're a, you know, have a craft booth somewhere, these are great things to sell. So I'm just going to sit here and mix this for three minutes. That is the key. Three minutes. That's the, that's the um, key number. So I do have a little stick that I'm going to be doing that. So this also, you have like a 20 minute um, working time on this from start to finish once it gets mixed. Anything after 20 minutes, it's a no-go. So th three minutes of mixing is what we need to do. So I just gotta make sure that this is well incorporated so if you're just popping on, we have released a new acrylic glacier resin on the Maker Studio page. We have so many fun, fun, fun projects coming up ahead. And I have to say it is fun to do. So I did, if you're just hopping on, mix equal parts of the whoops, equal parts of the resin and equal parts of the hardener always a 50 50 mix i did fill two little silicone cups that is exact size for this project of how much resin you will need i am scraping down the walls of this also and i do have a plastic measuring cup that i transferred it to 
you can use glass, but plastic's the way to go. Also, just so you know, when you're done with your pro project and you have, you know, to clean all your little cups and everything, the clean slate is the way to go. It will get all the tackiness off of the inside of these after you have washed them. So that's also available on the website. Okay, couple more seconds, and then I think I got it incorporated. So remember, you mix both of them together for three minutes. Okay, I'm gonna remove that little stick. Now, let me show you what I'm gonna use. Here is the mold that I'm gonna be using. It is a picture frame. Isn't that gorgeous? So here's the mold. Now, obviously you're gonna be pouring from the top and there is a level right here. We're gonna pour right to this level, but I'll show you what we're gonna do. I am gonna use, actually, let me use this one. I'm gonna pour just a little bit into the smaller container. It's just because it gives me more um, controllability than pouring out of there. So I'm gonna pour down into here. Okay, and I'm not going to pour a lot because when you work with resin and you want to add some embellishments, you do want to pour just a little bit in and have it sit for a couple of minutes. And that reasoning is when it sits for a couple of minutes, it prevents any of your embellishments from sinking to the bottom. That's number one. Number two is when you pour it into any of the molds just make sure it is butted up against all the sides of the inside of the mold this first layer and every layer thereafter so i'm just moving it around with my little stick if i see that it's not um totally hitting the side of here and the side of here i just manipulated and move some more around I do have enough in there to cover the whole surface. Just moving it to the side, making sure it butts up against the side wall of the mold. That's a very important step so that you're not missing resin when you pop this out. Excuse my head, I'm just trying to look on that other side. Actually, I'm gonna turn it around. See what I got working over there. So I'm just pushing the resin up to the side of the mold on this side and the other side. So any mold you use, whether it's for a pop socket or any of the molds we have, just make sure the resin touches both sides of the mold when you apply your first layer before you apply your embellishments. And again, this is better to um, let this particular layer set for a couple of minutes so that when you put the um, embellishments in, they don't sink to the bottom. Because if it's set up a little bit, it'll stay where you need it to stay. Now remember, you only have 20 minutes from the time you mix that, which is a substantial amount of time, by the way. Okay, I'm just gonna put that in there. Now, here's what I'm gonna use. So there is all different kinds of embellishments on the Maker Studio page where the resins are. You could have dried flowers, you can have um, some leaf, which is what I'm going to use today. And it comes in gold, silver, and copper. So today I'm going to use the silver leaf. Now silver leaf is very, very um, thin and wispy. So I'm going to just put a little bit on this mat and I'm going to put the rest over there. I do suggest <laughs> leaf is like glitter. Don't sneeze. True story. So I do have a little uh, tweezer that I think it's much easier to apply with. And I'm just going to take little pieces and I'm going to put them on the surface of the silicone that has been, excuse me, the resin that has been 
applied to the mold. And I will show you in a second. So if you could see, I am applying it to the mold right on top of the resin. And I'm going to go around the whole entire piece with the gold leaf. If you want to make the pieces smaller, just rip them smaller and apply them to the top of the resin. Now, remember, I did not fill this um, container up all the way with the resin because basically what's happening here is whatever embellishments you use, they're kind of getting sandwiched in between two layers of the resin. Now you could use any kind of embellishments in here. We do have a lot of dried flowers, which are pretty fabulous on the Maker Studio website. Just make sure, because this is a narrow area in here, that whatever embellishments you use, they fit the space. They fit the space. That's why this um, foil is a great option because I can create it as big and as small as I want it, the pieces. And that makes for a great look. As you can see, this one is already done where I've used the um, copper foil. I find this very relaxing too, weirdly enough, adding all this foil in here. And again, if you have any questions about the resin, and any of the products actually at a maker studio you can ask in the comments but this is such a fun and interesting product to use i personally have never used resin and it is very very fun the molds that we have here at a maker studio all the different things that you can make super super fun If your little um, tweezer gets sticky, just go ahead and rinse it or wipe it so that you can then continue to release the um, gilt foil to the resin. It pretty much sticks to it once it touches it, but I'm just taking little pieces and going all the way around. And that's exactly what I did to finish off this one. I just happened to use the copper um, foil in that one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little bit more out of the bag. Like I said, foil is almost like glitter. You find it everywhere. Definitely don't use the foil with a fan on. That would be my suggestion because it would be just like glitter. It will blow all over the place. So I'm almost getting done. I'm just coming around the bottom and then I will come around the side and I will be completely done with the foil application. You could put glitter in here. We have pigments you could put that you can mix with the um, resin itself to color it. Leave a little glitter in there. All kinds of things now available on the website. The videos that Amy have been doing will give you all the instructions on different things. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. So what I did is I just went around the whole perimeter of the lower la layer in this particular mold. And I'm just putting all kinds of silver leaf in there. Again, I'm gonna wipe my little tweezer so it's easier to release. Again, like I said, these silicone pads are also available, this blue um, on the website to protect your surface. And they come in handy and they're easily washed too with the clean slate. Okay, let me just get my corners in here where Okay. 
Okay, I think one more piece. This is one of those things that you keep doing and you keep doing and you keep doing and you don't know when to stop. Okay, so let me take this off of my hand. Now, let me just clean my gloves up, clean this little... Now, everything can be washed with the clean slate, just so you know, even my little tweezer here. So here's what I have. I went ahead and put all little pieces of foil on top of a little layer of the resin. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the rest of the resin and fill up the rest of the mold. If you see air bubbles, you can hit this with a heat gun or a blow dryer gently to make the bubbles disappear. I do suggest always, always, always when you're working with resin also to work on a level surface because whatever surface you put this on, that's how it's going to dry. which makes total sense, but just make sure your table is level or whatever surface you're gonna sit this on to dry. So I'm just adding the rest of it into the mold. It's gonna to come to this level here. Like I said, for this particular project, there was two equal cups of that size, the little silicone cups and it will fill this all the way to the top. You do want to level it with this level here on this particular project. Not every project do you want to bring it to the top and what comes to mind is the pop socket because when you put the pop socket back, backing onto the resin, it will raise it a little bit. But this particular one, you do want to bring it up to the level that is the highest level, even with it. So I'm just going back and getting anything that's hanging off the sides. Now, the good thing at this point, when you get your product put in here, you're just going to let this set up overnight. Do not pull it out until it's totally set up overnight. So let me get this okay so anything that's on the side you can wipe off before it hardens so you don't want to have like little pieces that are hanging on just go ahead and wipe it off and then set this to the side again set this to the side on a level surface and when it's hardened you're going to pop it out so I am going to just move it to right here. Let me show you what it's going to look like. Now, this is one that I did with the um, same process, except I used the copper leaf. Now, the fun thing about this is if you look in the back, there's no holder. So all I did was get some of the little, um, little glue dots, and I put them on my picture and then just put it right to the backing. So isn't that sweet? Isn't this fabulous? So think of this, this one kind of looks fallish right now, but um, think of all the endless possibilities. You could add stars in there, you could add glitter in there, you could add mica powder in there, and you can design your own acrylic resin frame. Isn't that beautiful? See, and that's the copper leaf, by the way. So in, by tomorrow, this will be set. I will pop it out and it'll look exactly like that, except it will have the silver leaf. So thank you so much for joining me today and allowing me to show you how to work with this resin. It sure is a fun project and it sure is a fun product to work with. So thanks for joining me, guys. Have a nice day.